Good morning. Or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> I ran the replay from yesterday. And I still don't have good uh, clearing support. What I do have is manual. It's not accepting input during replay. <clears throat> Uh, but I saw this one come up. Uh, I don't. I, I'm pretty sure I saw discrepancy um, debug print discrepancies before this. But this is happening now. I don't want to say out of hand that having zero speed after a player move message is impossible. It certainly would make sense that the destination is not equal to current having just gotten the moves that could have pushed your destination out. Uh, what I'm not sure of is, does it make sense for current speed to be zero after receiving a player moves? And I thought, mm, all right, so 14552, 13924, and it was like update move speed. So this is somewhere else from pointer down where we immediately update in response to setting your own path. And 14, so there are places in update player moves, <clears throat> or update moves, or the player move start. But there is a place where we update speed based on this. And the question is that there's, a, there's clearly an else case here. We're ignoring where the server says we should be. We should change speed. Uh, we're ignoring where the server says we should be. Don't force update these for our object. Well, I'm mostly seeing this with other players. So that so our object is only going to have current position changes, speed changes in response to the pointer. But in well, I have to look, but in theory this could end up applying to where do you go? Oh, and that goes down to here. So there appear to be no other block areas that are going to impact our sanity checks. <clears throat> oh, but that could mean when we get player moves for ourselves. Existing not equal to ID or truncated with the latest from server if we learn that a path we submitted was truncated. But that would then not update our speed. Hmm. There's so many existing not equal to zero an interrupted move. Old path link zero, old path. They receive final player update telling us that move is over. Oh, right, because player update does include the like done moving.
And this is where we're looking through the game objects to determine the actual object. Okay, so if we do, well, there's a whole bunch of <clears throat> logic here when we do this. But we do update move speed regardless. And update move speed is going to do stuff. So we have to assume it's setting us up with a proper path. Uh, ETA sec is going to dun, 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 move left ETA sec. So we have to have proper move ETA time and a proper path distance. <clears throat> Behind, we should speed up. Hmm. Total time, move ETA time. We don't have enough info. Change to walking toward next path step from wherever we are. So what do we need to know? So there are paths through here. Well, the only path that won't hit update move speed is other players. And clearly we're seeing some other players. So I kind of need to know more about what happened. So I'm thinking about uh, doing doing things like this that have the player IDs attached. Now, if I do that for every update, uh, maybe they'll kind of end up affecting our frame rate in terms of logging out every little update. Although, if it's only messages, it hopefully won't be too bad. Other messages pending for them. And what was I looking at? Reach destination. Yeah, we say current speed is zero and then we play. Pending received messages. We update current position and current speed. So that's something that's curious. Anyway, I think I need to be doing, I've been trying to get just this, because I've always, it was, these are always things I expected to be rare, rare instances. So these ones that we pretty much never see, 
I'm not as concerned about. We know we saw this one we're performing that fix up. It might still be something to log. Maybe baby dropped, we should look at it at some point. We've got these. Uh, out of sync. Uh, well, this is... Right, because that updates move speed. I, mm, I'm not as concerned about our object. Yep, it's the hedger bot. Uh, server update timeout's pretty rare. <laughs> so we can go ahead and do. Uh, I need. Is it just existing ID? by adult pending ID. Existing ID not equal to our ID. <clears throat> App log, warning F. Uh, player update. Existing ID. Uh, I haven't really dug into what else is happening here. Alright, so this is still existing. VM does not equal to cur. And I might want to add more stuff to this. Pointer down, we didn't really see. It's the reset. So there's that stuff. Now there's been all there's been a lot of places where we update things, and I'm clearly not. Oh, I, I wanted to look at. Oh, this is where in order to correlate this live object set. No, uh, was it living life page? Live object. So in order to track this, or when it becomes a issue, <clears throat> I'm going to need to have a little flag here. Uh... Bool, uh... Now I'm not necessarily going to be able to initialize that everywhere. Or rather, I think there's been... Well, there should be a constructor for this, right? Living life page. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, current position. Current pause. Is there like a big create a new object thing? Well, it might be current pause x, y. <clears throat> Our live object. Uh, equals <clears throat> jump to where out of range baby dropped this is object from a player update message uh, how about new Oh, maybe a live object set ends up <clears throat> controlling that. Live object. Oh, do you not actually hold live objects themselves? <laughs> Add base object to live object set. No. Hmm. Okay. So I guess it just is counts on various steps to initialize it. So anyway, there's a place where uh, it's not bug location message necessarily, but the place where we draw that means we might also be draw. well, no, because where we're, where we're drawing the player Near end of movement. Action attempt and not just eight. Action target. That does the animation. Add new anim player only. Yeah, that seems to be used pretty exclusively for the animation system stuff. That's explicitly our object. Uh, right here. Just so we're synchronized. This is our reference code. So you want to say uh, if, and I guess this isn't his and his style, if O. Uh, living life page. Showing position dispatch. Oh, I've got this on showing debug grid. I might want to not do that so that this is always 
exactly the right thing. If if we're if this becomes true, and this is false, then we want to. Position mismatch and app log warning uh, percent D uh, showing mismatch. What did we mess up here? Oh, apparently it didn't uh, remove a level of parenthesis. Okay. So that will tell me when an object does that. Uh, the other one I want was, uh, actually I don't think it's that one. It is dealing with you, distance and less than current speed, reach destination. <laughs> App log, warning. Warning F, uh, percent D, reached destination, OID, and we believed that it, we had some checking here earlier that said this is where stuff was happening. Uh, actually, no, yeah, I do want to explicitly check this for the error condition. So we're going to set speed to zero. We're going to set current pause to there. So it's going to be kind of like this. So if current speed equals zero, and it, it's not the destination position, we want that. An exact position, uh, so here's an interesting one. So here's one way to check this. Uh, mismatch after playing received messages. <clears throat> uh, what I do, what I am curious about is how do I check the number of messages? Uh, reach destination uh, percent D well that won't tell me about messages waiting if it was good before that it won't tell me Hmm. Won't tell me 
I would have to do that for every reach destination to see if there were... Uh, well, we could do... <laughs> Mismatch after playing... Well... Up to... <laughs> So this will give us some hooks. Well, I think we determined this is the only place that speed becomes zero. So I started looking at like, okay, how does end position end up discrepant from destination? And actually, if we see this without this, we'll know it was playing pending messages. Nope. Uh, we forgot a semicolon. But otherwise, I was thinking of like logging everything that updates path current position or speed. But I've I'm really running out of places that could do that. So in theory, all the places in messages that could cause errors, we've already checked. But the actual position is current pause, and this sets current pause. But then I was watching between end pause and dest, but not necessarily current pause. This sets current to that path. Hmm. Uh, so we can poke at this a little bit <clears throat> on our local server just to see if any of these happen. All right, oh, the boar is still here. <laughs> that was a glitch object that some eventually turned itself into a boar. <laughs> All right, other person. We might be twins. Okay. So if we do some running around. Oh, geez. It's, uh, it didn't see exactly where the other person went, but just to do some basic stuff to see if any of that showed up in the logs. Uh, one life log dot text. <laughs> oh, actually, it does. It doesn't clear the log on restart. Okay, so none of that triggered stuff. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, is this? Yeah, this is today. Interesting. I didn't... Uh, I 
didn't realize this was actually going somewhere. So this must be the this must be where the printfs are going. So this hmm. If I put some sort of better tag, this might be a better. Hello, Muffin Drake. How you doing? This might actually be a better place to log this stuff. Uh, responsible, negative one. Uh, I have to do a little bit of digging to understand player messages to get to figure out what the ID is so I can correlate that to my stuff. But that is actually quite detailed. Uh, so I'm pretty much the only one using app log at the moment. <clears throat> so we want to switch this to regular old printf. And then we want to put some sort of tag in here so we can find our error lines. Uh, let's see, I didn't leave that open. Okay. Mismatch. Uh, actually, just position doesn't show up. So I could do something like an app log printf uh, now uh, is that also something that appears in regular game that is a non-empty standout okay yeah if I, if I can figure out where this is I may have to do print if print if What what things to be looking for? That log might have enough detail. Oh, one thing I was looking for from the app log was timestamps. But there might be some of that in the printf. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah, I guess it's C++. You're right. I mean, it's, it's probably mostly, well, I guess it's mostly C. It's just that there's, um, like, the this page is a living life page. Page is a class. Uh, but most of the actual game code is C. Then there's a, cu a couple overridden operators like pointer down and stuff. Uh, I mean, this is probably technically a class uh, for the living life pages, but I never see it, never see him call methods on it. It's mostly just a structure. So yeah, I guess I still I I kind of I don't do C and C plus plus enough to usually be distinguishing between them. Oop, that is not an argument. That is a 
just a string. All right, we can, well, none of that stuff should be printing normally, so I can't actually prove that it's working. Well, the only place we see this is in the wild. Uh, so we need to go to... Now, I could play back the previous game, but that probably wouldn't be very exciting to stream. So I guess we're just going to have to play it. And then see what we get. Uh, unfortunately, the frame rate's going to be kind of bad here. Because I, this is my programming setup. But this only seems to show up when you have a lot of other stuff happening with other people, so you got to gather the data somewhere. And who knows, maybe we'll end up with a, a short life where we can get an instance or two and then be, be out. Whoa, mom was walking. Well, we might have, yep, this, this, looks, this looks like an Eve. So, and I'm a boy, so it might be very short. Uh, that probably won't get me any data though. Yep. I'm assuming that's, pond, that's supposed to be pond, or food. <laughs> yeah, uh... I could. I'm assuming cannibalism is not in the the game for the good reason that some people would do it for the lols. Hi, pig. Well, that might mean. There's a reed. There's only one. There's two. She got a basket. She wasn't carrying me. That's an ice pool. Yep. No water. Yeah, there's might be more down here. There's two. That's not much, but it might be enough to let us look around. Uh, there's some temperate stuff here. A little bit of food. Not a lot of mosquitoes at the moment. A bit of arctic around, unfortunately. We might have some rabbits over here. There's a hint of green. I don't know if we're going to have enough branches to work with. Yeah, that's, that's like no trees. Uh, she did just come from an area with, with milkweed, so it's like it's not impossible to find. Well, and here's the trees. It, just, it would just be the milkweed for the rope and stuff. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot of people around here, so it's not going to be a very good test spot. Okay, I didn't actually get hit there. Uh, okay, so she's got food over there. You know, let me move over a little bit so she can stay near that. Uh, this will get me a little bit of heat without... Oh, there actually, though, there actually there is one up here.
Okay, well, no, then I'm going to take the onion. So are we going back to those pawns? Or are we still looking? Okay, well, uh, at this point we could both be carrying things. Uh, we didn't, well, we need sharp rocks to be able to get really... Okay, rocks. Rocks. Okay, there's skewer, there's a little bit of food. I'm not sure if she's saying if she's trying to say food or pond. Oh, there's one, two. Oop. Reads. Okay, she 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 does still have a rock. I need food though. And I know we passed some. about milk we want to have some food all right now see if we can find mom again oh uh, maybe I should look for uh, maybe a skewer would be a good thing here so that once we get set up oh, there's another one uh, only a sharp rock to use it but so we got water. We got trees. Some night. Oh, we got we got a little bit of desert too. Uh, so I'm assuming she's gonna try to settle here, but I don't know where she actually went. Oh, there's some branches. Okay, there, and there's her basket. Uh, actually, we should probably have another rock up here, right? All right, well, she's not going to eat that. I want to make sure I don't die. <clears throat> mm, all right, food first. Well, this is not a huge green area. All right, we should have enough rocks around for me to be leaving sharp stones behind to carry extra stuff. Uh, oh, actually, I'm not hungry yet. Okay, so there's berry bushes down this way. They're burdock. Now we can eat a berry. So I always like to start with the food. Uh, just it's, it's so many times in Eve camps. I'm like, okay, well, I was in the middle of something or having a baby or whatever, and oops, I'm 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 almost dead and about to starve. Uh, let me run off into the wilderness and just drop that where it was. Uh, so I know there was a rock down that way, but we can get one here. Uh, I can also, well, I don't, okay, there's probably carrots out here. 
Because a lot of times, like, you find one good direction and you just always go that way and you never end up looking other directions. Hey, look, there's even more green out here. Well, a little bit. Okay, so that's a carrot, two burdock. Uh, no, I ate the carrot. <laughs> well, okay, so it's three burdock. Not great for variety. And no berry bushes here, apparently. Hopefully we'll have some cactus fruit soon. Okay, and most of the food I brought back before is gone. Oh good, more green. Uh, oh, and more planes. Uh, I, need to, I need to sharpen this first, though. So I, we haven't really investigated how much water is down there, but it seems like uh, it might be serviceable. All right, well, so it's gonna sh gonna be a bunch of onions this time. Can I use that? Yeah, jumper. Yep, hi, Snake. Okay, so that leaves that pretty good for the moment. Uh, how's she doing on... Okay, we have one rope, a bunch of sticks. Uh, uh. All right, let's try this way. I'm gonna look for, make sure I have some food with me first. I should pretty much just eat that, but now I'm now I'm pretty good. And there's a little bit of milkweed here. Uh, you might be almost fruiting. There it goes. Make sure we're leaving some seeds in, in any particular area. All right, one piece of thread. We'll probably stop at Roper Thread since there's somebody else working on this as well. I'm not really sure what we're going to end up needing. Okay. Uh, eh. Not even fruiting. We've got some seeds up there. We need three ropes to start, so it's not too bad a thing to have extra. And then, you know, it, we're always, in the long run, we're always trying to milkweed, so not going to hurt to have too much, too much rope. Well, it seems like she may have plucked this area pretty good. Can make this available. That little brother, okay. Oh man. Okay, so there's another milkweed. This one's far enough away, it'd be oh, yeah, okay. These are far enough away, it'd be nice to get some seeds down. Just a turkey. <laughs> Something moved all of a sudden. Mm, 
Mm, wait a little bit to eat that. Okay, we got some seeds now. Oh, threw it anyway. Uh, eh. Oh, and this, like, this is, well, like, that onion probably is good now, but it's a good size. Oh, and there's rabbits down here. I uh, might want to wait and see if Mom has made a rabbit trap, but... Ooh, and now I'm at that awkward place. I forgot about that. Your basket can't quite hold the right amount. Okay, and more water down here. Ooh. That's actually a little bit of a nicer spot water-wise. Well, it's we could probably expand down there if we need to. Uh, shoot. That's yeah. That's not an easy one to match up. Okay. That okay. Here's some that we could. Any more that they're fruiting? Maybe. Here we go. Now we can get two ropes. Uh, we'll need some thread eventually, but there's clearly some more down here. Uh, let's see, that was... A little bit of alternation. Then we'll go back up to home and see what tools have actually been made. Oop, hi snake. There's another milkweed. Oh! Mom's been going to town. Okay, uh, got that. Uh, got that. I don't see the fire bow drill yet. So we actually are lacking some rope there. I, mm, I guess she could be field crafting it. We're going to need one more stick anyway. Oh, we got the stick. Nice. All right, back to food. Looks like all the stuff in camp is gone. Uh, I'm going to need some of this. Uh, and that's a full basket. Cut mm, me off. There are borders around there sometimes. Ooh, some soil going, nice. Okay, a few extra onions left. Ooh, got some cactus fruit. That mean, yeah, there's some up here. So I guess that, that's something we just can just know is there. All right, so that is a decent amount of food. Uh, we need... Uh, okay, okay, we do have flint. Uh, we have one set of tongs. It, okay, he's... Oh, no, he's using it for that. Okay, oh, so the other one got turned into that. Uh, all right, so I think... Well, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, rock, 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 rock.
Uh, I think I saw a snake, a carrot up here. Uh, oop, didn't need to do that. Uh, so you, okay, you do have a family, so now I just need the branch. I, I found green in a couple places up around here. You hidden milkweed. Actually, I probably could have gone out and found milkweed to make this. But that's one that's one of the things I brought it back for. Okay, so you are not ready. It's actually gonna be slightly cold here, but it's, it's what we got nearby. <laughs> and I could probably go looking for a carrot. Oh, you know what? I'm probably going to want to bring the rabbit trap back. Because there's actually a couple of rabbit areas out here. Uh, and some people wouldn't necessarily know where to go grab it. Flint. Oh, uh, we missed the we missed some possible eggs there. Oh well. All right, now we need thread. Uh, oh, yeah, we just missed the coals too, and another skewer to cook it. Uh, round rock is going to be good. Uh, grab one of these for later. Okay, so I know I dropped a sharp rock up here somewhere. Uh, we need a skewer. And was it something else? I we'll want a flat rock eventually. There's a skewer. Oh, and thread. So I do need to... Ooh, hi, wolf. <laughs> it's a very, very trapped wolf. Uh, so there's one. There's two. Can we get any fruiting? different area. Uh, yeah, I can top off here. There's a snake. Okay, cool. All right, we've got our thread. We've got our skewer. Uh, how's our food supply? Is looking down a little bit. Let's try a different direction a little bit. Rotate our foraging zones. 
Oh, and keep an eye out for a flat rock. That's something... Okay, so there's one. We could probably find one close. We were right by a desert there. Uh, okay, so that's a little bit of green. Not a lot of bit of green. Yeah, got a lot of onions. Unfortunately, there might be too few people here to really be seeing that bug show up. That glass wart looks like a snake. Okay, we got charcoal, we got another fire going. Uh, I wanted to look around here. Yeah, okay, we got a, got a flat rock here. Uh, so if... Uh, we do have plates, so if we gathered some eggs, assuming that we've gotten any eggs. Okay, berry farm started. With egg. With egg. Okay, she got the rabbits. Uh, no one's relighting this or anything, so let's make some omelets. Alright, got some clay. Nice. Uh, we should probably get some more eggs. But I'm just about hungry enough for a rabbit here. Uh, it is... Is it sharp stone or flint? Yeah, it's flint. Uh, where did our flint go? Okay, oh, she went and got, got an eggs, too. Uh, there it is. Might not hurt to have some extra flint sometime. All right, cool. Uh, now, these are actually going to be a little bit in the way of the forge here. So, if they just went out and got more eggs, uh, there might not be... Well, there's still some. Okay, a goose pond. With egg. Okay, a goose pond. With egg. Actually, I'm not sure how many plates. We might not have enough plates for all this. But we can do it on the next round. All right, plate, 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 plate. All right, cool. Ooh, we're already, uh... Oh, it's just clay. Okay, cool. Um... Carrot seeds, I would say. And maybe some skewers for... Okay, we've got multiple sharp stones. And the family continues. Ooh. Harvest these real quick. Uh, ooh. Or... Do I go... Oh, we've got... Oh, you know what? We got needles. We got thread. There's your bellows. Uh, or should I go see about trapping 
Hmm. Now, ca carrot seeds first. That's, that's a good starter food. I guess we're doing okay on food, but... Uh, maybe I sh shouldn't have taken the sharp stone for that. Well, we'll be back here soon enough. I've got a cactus fruit with me. So I might not even need to eat. But I could go rabbit hunting and get a backpack. Um... Then, maybe I could go out hunting for iron. Mm, I know I found other... planes here. Oh, well, there's one iron. I don't remember exactly where. Ooh, bugs in the desert. That's not a good thing. Hmm. All right, well, that's two carrot seeds. That's enough to start with. Other than wandering around. Oh, I need skewers. That's right. But that's in a different area. So right now, this is massive berry fields. Uh, but we're going to need skewers to hoe anything else. Well, I'll let... The farm people deal with that. Are there still rocks down here? Or do I need to head into a mountain or desert area to get a rock? Oop, that's our that's our little isolated snake. Hmm, I might need to go someplace else. This is not being very generous with the rocks. Well, <laughs> found more planes. Okay, there's a rock. There's a big rock. And right now what we need is skewers to farm. Uh, there's pr I think I saw some berry bushes in route, so we should probably be okay here. Berry bushes are onions. Or bananas. Uh, can maybe do some corn for variety, possibly green beans, uh, but full-on stew might be a little bit early. There's definitely some soil gone. There's our flint. Okay, here's the farm. So maybe do the carrots a little bit away somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we have omelets. <laughs> okay, somebody found one iron. Uh... Let me start gathering. Ooh, you know what? I need to I need to get on food. So we only got so many omelets left. Uh can we spare a oops, spare a rock here? Okay, I got flat rocks up there. Actually, do we still have these? Yeah, most of these are still here. That'll hold us for a little while if people bother to look for them. Uh, I've kept dropping sharp rocks up here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so I know... I'm not sure about this way. I know that they're down south. There's still lots of food we haven't picked up. There's a carrot. 
Don't need seeds right now. If I could find a berry bush or something out here to top myself off, that'd be great. Nope. Oh, cactus fruit. obvious to me, but it doesn't mean it's obvious to somebody else. Sometimes you just don't go a certain direction and miss something. Ooh. Just a wall. A uh, seal. Seal. I almost want to say walrus for some reason. That's actually been picked clean, huh? Oh, oh. This seems like maybe a bad sign. Uh, oh yeah, I can get more carrots. And I know there's a basket down here somewhere. Finding it might be a little bit of a challenge, though. So if we can reestablish camp food a little bit, then I can work on getting, although I guess carrots would themselves be a, a way to solve that. Okay, a little bit of that food survived, so I can probably take some time to try and get some... Oh, they, they, they already planted them. Never mind for doing it separate. Um, well, I did just make a bunch of carrot seeds, so we could do more of that. Or I have made a bunch of carrot seeds recently. So we could just kind of double down on that. Or we could start doing some corn. Uh, that's popcorn and raw corn just by itself. Eh, okay, I guess I got most of these carrots already. Carrot seeds, rather. Ooh, I did not bring a sharp stone or food with me. Okay, well, solves that problem for now. Now, I haven't seen any position bugs show up, but it's been a pretty quiet camp without a whole lot going on. And since it's been an Eve camp, I haven't really been able to just... Eh, I guess I could have focused on staying in town more and kind of doing some of that stuff. But as a boy, that doesn't necessarily make sense for the camp. Just a mouflon. Okay, I've got a seal skin. Okay. I'm not actually sure which which Badlands is. Uh, so actually, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, east isn't really a direction I've gone much. Mm 
Uh, we got a few of these berries up. Uh, I'm not quite at omelet level. Ooh. Food I've been gathering is going fast, though. Well, we've 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 got berries. We're gonna have we've got carrots. Okay, cool. And that's, that's gonna be a plus one for me. So let's make sure I've got a sharp rock, and then see what the fuss is up all about to the east. these all up? No. I probably dropped a rock somewhere up here. somebody to get those carrots. Okay. Some badlands. Lots of rocks. More water. Wow, all the mouflon. I mean, I could work on the bow and arrow. Uh, and get a uh, free-range mouflon. Free-range domestic mouflon. And until something else comes up. Oh, there's mosquitoes out here. Pitter patter of something. Okay, that's just the mouflon. Okay, so not so good for iron. We got copper if we ever want to play with radio stuff. Ooh, iron mine. If we ever can get enough iron to get up to picks and stuff. Ooh, that's an edge. And I feel like this is looping back to where we were. Oh. Wolf up here. I think I saw a boar running up here. I should pretty much eat this now. Uh, yeah, I need to. I might need to attend to food soon here. Especially with this Arctic stuff. There were the odd banana trees down south. Oh, or maybe some green here. But what we're not seeing is any loose iron in this area. All right, well, let's uh, see how camp's doing. Now, it's entirely possible I didn't look at every section. It's a pretty big zone. Oop, hi, wolf. And I guess it could continue below this jungle here. Eh, more green. Jungle.
Okay, got lots of carrots. Ooh, we got some got some bugs logged. All right, what is the state of things? Oh, we found some iron somewhere. Nice. We've got that. We've got some thread. We've got our rabbit trap. We've got somebody dead. Oh, oh, well, rip that. So we got skewers. Uh, yeah, so I guess... Go back to some rabbit hunting, see if we can get a backpack together. Uh, probably... Ooh. They've gathered all this stuff. Uh, Rabbit family hall and carrot here. I'm sure I've seen another plane somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where. More food. Ooh, that takes up basket space. Uh, yeah, I might have to pull these back in small amounts. And not bring... Oops. Oh, uh, we have two rabbit traps, apparently. Uh, I guess one of them is going to get left here. Mm. <laughs> ah! And snake out of nowhere. We have a graveyard. Oh well, I got I, I got some discrepancies that will hopefully show up in the log. And now I can get out of here somewhat reasonably. Shame I couldn't make a backpack though. All right, so let us. See if well. First of all, let's see if we got any useful stuff here. Uh, stand out. Reach destination. Oh, I need to do carriage returns. Playing one pending received messages. Mismatch. Okay, well, it was mis it was mismatched before, so that doesn't really tell us anything. Oh, position force. Okay, it just wasn't in the it just wasn't in the other log. When I searched for it, reach destination in error. Playing four messages. Mismatch after playing up to four received messages. Showing mismatch. This is actually. Yeah, all right. Well, we're going to be at least thinking about this for a little bit. So, CPP. We're going to move back to code for a bit here. Sorry if you were here for gameplay, but I, I was just kind of gathering data. Uh, so our first one, and I can go for pause space. Oop. Uh, did this, played a message, oh, playing held pending message, so I don't even need to record that as much, and it was a player update. So, when we reached destination, our current and destination position were out of or order. Our held message, or something, fixed that before we drew. It wasn't the same player. Oh, it was the same player. Oh, very far different, though. <clears throat> uh, then this one actually sh got shown. Uh, 
Uh, we oh, I need might need to put out coordinates because then we we these don't have timestamps, but we then did get a player update for this player, which would have moved them. And then we have got some that are out of position, but would, did not get to the drawing stage. Uh, was out of range. Okay, th this is the fix up I did earlier. So we fixed that. Yeah, so it does not appear that the pending messages are causing the mismatch. It's just reaching destination. So I need to get carriage returns in there. Although the mismatch after isn't really... Uh, it never seems to be out of sync with the reach destination early. The updates are not changing that state. Out of range. Out of range. That is the same person there. Uh, hmm. So it was out of range. But then we did a player update. This is part of the player update, maybe. It doesn't say who it's for. Huh. So we applied a fix up. We cleared their path. I wonder if this was me. Oh, different things are applied to the cur current player. I wish I knew. I should probably print out RID somewhere. Because certainly I'm going to be on the screen a lot. Out of range, reach destination, reach destination. Yeah, those are always matched. Showing mismatch. They don't always result in a showing mismatch. Out of range. Showing mismatch, showing mismatch. And those are the ones assigned near the end, probably. Out of range. All right, so that's that. So these all need carriage returns. Hmm, we didn't actually see that one. I wasn't hanging around. I wasn't hanging around babies a lot. We did not see that one which did show up in the other game. All right, so this is not really uh, giving us any new information. All right, so I've got all of those. Did I get all of them? Yes. Now. What happened to, well, unfortunately, all the stuff that's logged here isn't necessarily showing. Holding player message until later. Playing zero messages. Reach destination, playing one pending messages. So that's probably this one, but it doesn't give me, oh, no, here it is. Player update. Oh, can I get the protocol on this? Server. <laughs> P 
player update. All right, ID. Facing action, action target, action target, POID. Object origin valid, transition source ID, heat, done moving, seek num, force, XY, age, age rate, move speed. Oh, you get move speed also, no, is it ignoring that in the code? Because I, oh, I was looking for, huh. I was looking for current sp speed equals. Last speed. <laughs> last speed equals last speed, last speed, message. Last speed equals last speed. Move total time. Yeah, we don't seem to use that for very much. So x, y are like way the heck out there. <clears throat> All right, so the last player update before this happened and I don't have, oh, we got a player move and then a player update. So our, uh, so we have to decode player move. So uh, let's see if we can make this work. So player ID, start, start. So this is two, two. Uh, it's going to take slightly over one second. Hmm. We'll have to look at more messages to see if that is game time or what. Not truncated. And the moves are one one two one one zero. Uh, I think they're delta from the start. So that's down, well, I forget which way his coordinate system goes. But let's just say it's down one. Then over by two and then Back to here? That's an interesting little path. <laughs> I might have to confirm how that works. And then we got a player update. Uh, is this like object carrying ID maybe? 
Facing action, action target. It was a ways away from our start position. Another ob action target object ID? Origin valid, zero. Transition source ID. Heat, zero. Uh, it doesn't seem right. Uh, heat, okay, heat, heat, I might believe that. Done moving seek num force. Maybe the action target is like a pixel direction. So X, Y, age, age rate. Move speed, clothing. Just eight, last night date, responsible ID, held numb. And then we got, so our start was two, two. And then we got a player update at 2.2. Two. Uh, so done moving seek num. Player move, player move. LN. Heat. Lineage. Oh. Hmm. Uh, let's say player move. Lineage. Zero pending messages. So our last player update for you. Oh, there's an actual XX, huh? Oh no, we wrapped around. This is their death message. <laughs> so this is the first, I must've skipped over this. Okay, this is like, Big old player update. <laughs> so that player, I think they're at zero, zero. So if it's zero, zero, is this like my birth message? And there's, we actually got updates about a bunch of players that were around. I thought we were in Eve. Compressed, uh, so that's probably the map. So 81 to 112, is that a reasonable player count right now? Uh, if it's been increasing, maybe. I wonder if that's actually, like, it's just all the players in the server. Uh, what are our coordinates look like? Well, there's certainly some big old numbers out here, huh? <clears throat> Player ID. Oh, player object, maybe that's the the um, the player model. Facing action, action target. Yeah, there's some big old numbers. Object ID, object origin, origin valid. Transition source ID, heat. Done moving sequence number. Force, X, yeah, those are some, it must send you, 
information about every player on the server at the time. Got lineages, we got names. Grave and death. Oh, and then reason age. Yeah, okay, so we don't really get anything else about them, just some basic facts. Anyway, who was my... This one, so player update, <clears throat> heat done moving force X, Y. Heat is something you can kind of pick out. Done moving force. Now done moving seek num force X, Y. No, that can't be it, because I have to be at zero, zero if it's me. Uh, so I'm just wondering. Oh, no, another thing is age. Age is right after XY. No, that's age 15. What? Maybe that's... Mother who would be at zero zero. <laughs> yeah, here's zero zero zero. So this may have been me. And then nobody else. Yes, yeah, so that must be. So it makes sense there would be lots of stuff about my mom because she was running around a lot. Uh, were any pause updates actually about mm, me? Because it does tend to handle same player a little bit differently. There were a couple of comments specifically. Oh, actually, actually, it's 62 and 92, so there's a couple of, or 29, probably having, as, as, we, as she has more kids, or we have more kids. <laughs> 59. Forgot exactly what number I was looking for. Sixty five. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I saw that in any of the errors. So, yeah, it's not any self stuff. So first error is there. New placement, what's an MX? Map change. <laughs> New floor, new ID. Hmm. So there was some stuff going on, and then doesn't say who's responsible. Oh, actually, reached dust early is one of the is in the same bit of code. Wasn't early though in that case. So we want to figure out <clears throat> what is, so 
Uh, started at zero zero because that's where we were born. We got a player move that was actually. Uh, let's see, was this start position? Well, she may have already been in motion, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so... And then the first move message is at negative four, negative four. Heading off diagonal. Manually forced. Fix up speed. Hmm. So that suggests we're getting player moves from very remote players. Maybe more of a question for the ser oops server code. Uh, lineage Eve. Oh, and, the, and there's me. So we got one move, and then we got another move that's still going diagonal in that little direction. Hmm. These are always very similar. I'm not sure what those are supposed to mean. Oh, this is an old path. There's something about this player said we changed path. I said it got extended by one. So you were on a player move. Player move. I guess I'm probably more concerned. Okay, and actually here it is. So we're doing player move, player move, player update. Holding player message for later. Reach destination. Played the message. <clears throat> So this was after a series of move only updates. Well, no, move update. Yeah, here's a, here's a little circular thing. Semicircular. Maybe it was sort of like a fix up path. They were headed down this way, and then they juked back. Oh, actually, we've got our last player move. From 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this looks like absolute coordinates. Uh, can we find some other... At 17, yeah. So these are in old absolute coordinates. Uh, so we were at one, one, two, two, three, three, four, three. Uh, we extended that to go from zero, zero. Probably because it was a fix up for where we were. Then uh, at two, two. So this must have been a new command that went back to here. So that we hit, we hit this old path, new path stuff. Then we got a message that ended up kind of from 2-2, two, two, continuing out a bit and looping back. Fixed speed. Reached dust early. Oh, so it thought we reached destination well, somebody reached destination. We don't know who. <clears throat> then we got to move at 2 2 to kind of go out and double back. Then we got a player update, which uh, I think this is at 2 2 because that's a done moving step. Oh, 
this doubles back to one zero. Then we got a um, uh, back, back, back. Where is your last player update? Oh, that's like the big player update. And that was done moving step at zero. And that is the first player update. Well, maybe that's a thing the server uses internally. Uh, do we care about that number? Existing last move sequence number. Only if our last requested move really ended server side. Equals one. This looks like it's really only relevant for our live object. Okay. Last requested move really ended server side. Done moving with the last thing we gave it. Then we can call it not in motion. Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to be kind of irrelevant for other players. It's just... We have to look at the server to see how that goes. <laughs> So this is saying we are done moving at 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> these, these paths do appear to be in conflict to me. Although, if that's this message got held for later, uh, oh, and there it is, 106.22, playing it again. I guess I need to be putting out my current and dust coordinates. Uh, but the path we were on, so we get this update... We hold it for later because I guess we're in motion. Defer until they're done moving. So that's that. Uh, not equal to RID, current speed not equal to zero, not forced. Yeah. So we do this stuff and then. Uh, are you fixing up lines? Uh, no, you're doing some some fix up on the object, possibly, and then deferring the message. Oh, so you might be considering updating this when you get it, and then playing the update. Current speed not equal to zero. We've got a path. You can see it up there. <laughs> path end. Current path end. Matches our no move truncation. Should be somewhere along a truncated move. Truncate our path there. Oh.
So this is 2, 2. It's going to become 2, 3. 3, 4. And then 3, 2. But then we get a player update done moving it to 2. Which should be on this path. So it looks like we need to dive into this code. Uh, and this is checking path to dust and I should get a PU failed trunk though. If that leaves, oh, that can update dust position. Well, no, only if it finds it. What if it doesn't find it? Well, two, two. I think the way that it, it do, would do a path is it would do the start position and then boom, 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 boom. In fact, if we look at these, yeah, one, one. Wait. This must be from current position, whereas the path had said one, one. But this path, oh no, this is old path. Player move starting at one, one. New lead extended path. Check if new, uh, is that the only case of this? Yes, the only case of this. Check if new start on old path. Maybe this new path branches off before or after where we are. I have to dig into what this is doing too. A pending lead path. Old path. Now add rest of new path. <clears throat> so this must be some old path stuff. So we got to move from 2 2 to circling around a bit, and then an update saying we're done moving at 2 2. Could we? No. Well, somebody reached dust. We don't know it was <clears throat> this player. We'd have to start adding some annotations to these outputs to know who reached dust. We know that we got a player move and then a player desk. Presumably that's they're clicking on their same spot and stopping or something. And it was a little loop and then an actual stop on a current location. Uh, but that message got held because we were in motion which means it's going to complete this move. And then play that held message. <clears throat> oh, but this might have performed some path fix up and dust fix up before being pushed back. So I probably need to find out if that's happening. So 
So we reached destination. So we were, this path was heading us to, we decided, we think 3-2. I wouldn't think a path. Yes, because these can get larger if we're going farther out. <clears throat> so these are relative to this position. This was a path from 2-2 two, two, to 3-2. We got an update to here. We reached destination with a mismatched. Well, this is this exists briefly. Oh, and then we get another player update at two two. Oh, playing this again. Player update. So this is not a result in a visual glitch. But we're done moving at 2 2, so that makes sense. All right, so I need to find the one. I think that would actually turn out okay. Let's stop moving there, get the update, and hopefully update them. Now, which one? So this one <clears throat> happened and actually showed us in a bad spot. Or showed this person in the bad spot. I think, I think this is my mom. So we got a player move at 1675. <clears throat> negative 1, negative 1. Uh, so negative 1. Whichever way is negative. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure which way he's... Oh, no, actually, I can figure that out pretty easy. And this is the standout from the real game. So let's hop on my little, my private server here, my local server. <clears throat> so negative Y is down, negative X is that way. So we're starting at... Zero, one, six, well, yeah. But it is, we're going to one, six, seven, five, we're going to four, we're going to diagonal down, wait, wait. Is this something else? That might be something else. Wait. Uh, oh, trunk. Oh, so I've actually maybe been rereading some of these zeros, or misreading some of these zeros. Huh. Oh, I, yeah, that, that last path. Maybe I'm misreading. <clears throat> Although the, I thought my evens came out. Anyway. So we're going negative one, negative one, negative two, negative two, straight up negative or trip diagonal. Uh, oh, but that was a held player move. And then when it happened, we had, f hmm, hmm. Three other messages pending. Holding, 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 player update. Playing messages for somebody else. Holding, player update for you. Player emote. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I actually remember this. 
I didn't remember seeing the visual glitch there. But yeah, we're running along early. She got hit by, it was right about when I got old enough to move around. I guess that could have made you a little bit frantic. Player move, that was not held. Player move, uh, not indicating it was held. <clears throat> uh, disease. Is it disease? Oh, dying, because, yeah, that's, that's the state. Uh, there's the emote for the fever. <laughs> Player update. This oh, this might have been her dropping me. Three fifty three zero. Pretty much straight over from start. Uh, yeah, that, that might be me. Uh, if that's somewhere out here is age. Yeah. Uh, player update. Oh, there's a force. Holding PU. So the player update got held. Which may have been like the drop message. New placement. What do we say MX was? Map change. Okay. May have dropped something. So then all these moves get held. There's a bunch of... Hmm. Uh, 168? Maybe. Maybe that's eating... They don't have any timestamps on here, unfortunately. So, player move. Player move. <clears throat> and then reach their initial destination <laughs> playing up to four received messages <laughs> so we should see these play through <laughs> so player update Playing a held pending message. Uh, so we're at 169.3. Uh, then a player move from 168.6. Player move from 167.5 with a fix up. Player move 165. It's actually duplicate about. Player update, holding till later. Oh, if those were a bunch of moves, it would have immediately started moving. Wait. Playing a pending message. Playing a held pending message. But showing mismatch happens in the draw loop.
Reach destination error. <laughs> playing up to four messages. Playing a held pending message. But showing mismatch happens when we're drawing. Uh, are there conditions on when we will do this? <laughs> Playing. Yeah. Uh, mismatch after. <laughs> Playing received messages for. Oh, this is this is my old mismatch after. But oh, yeah, playing four pending received messages for. But showing. Oh, it's just putting them onto the queue. Yeah, so that can happen later. So we go through a draw cycle. That would have really only happened once. Because then it would have started moving again. So this one wasn't with the one where we like saw it. <clears throat> the player is going to start moving right away. That would be easier to get the history of the first one, but how about... Uh, does this ever happen with zero pending messages? Hmm. Because there is some destination position fix up that happens there in some of those messages. Here's where that one, one thing I removed is going to come in handy. Playing up to zero not does not exist. So in every case where this occurred, there were pending messages. Uh... <clears throat> So I know I was seeing some towards the end. Uh, so actually, no, we're, we're interested in showing mismatch. Uh, it was a it was a player move. Holding PU, one message. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I might need to not only show this once. Or, like, keep track of the number of frames it was shown for to, so I can catch the ones that are, like, actually visible. Uh... 
All right, I need to refill my water and stuff, so I'll be back in a few minutes. As we erase the floaters to the surface. Oxygen. Or they might be beyond the surface right now. <laughs> I'm not the only thing overshooting. Then that should just be consistent. Oh shit, I'm wasting her food. Whoops. See, that's the thing. Because I sat, because I went by. I wanna like. <clears throat> yep, wrong one. Welcome back. So I mismatched one. There was an update for 36, got held. Player update. Ooh, I was going the other way, wasn't I? And then the next thing, one message, player update. So maybe the player updates that don't end up moving them. If the player, move, if the player moves, they start moving. So you don't have current speed equals zero anymore. <laughs> if it's a player update, they don't necessarily move. <laughs> and our destination positions would already be aligned. So it wouldn't appear that we had to move. Uh, actually, we only adjust move speed from a player move. <clears throat> and let's see, applying a fix-up move here. So I think the way we can get misaligned... Uh, holding... Uh, holding. Oof. Holding PM. <clears throat> yeah, we've got lots of messages that can be held. Responsible player. Hmm.
defer and yeah, defer until they're done moving the issue i think <clears throat> is when we update the object and this is checking for the wrong thing here it doesn't fail trunk but we did update the object somewhere along our path. This is our current path, and then we get a bunch more paths, then we get a bunch more moves. Hmm. But that's that one case. So yeah, anywhere we can do stuff before MX. Okay, so the player update can do stuff. <clears throat> uh, that's this case, so that's not gonna do anything for baby. That's that entire case, shouldn't do anything. That's that entire case, hopefully doesn't do anything. Player move message. I think that's early enough. It doesn't actually do anything. FX message. Hunger slip. Hmm. That might do some stuff. MX message. Is this a different MX message or did I loop? Num read map map floors equals floor ID. Hmm. And then there's more stuff down here. <clears throat> nope, nope, that was it. <clears throat> So I suspect this one. We were checking dust equals. Oh. What if we truncated? If we find the path, we truncate the path. We, uh, we set their dest. Uh, path length to path. <clears throat> if this step is equal to there. Existing path length, so we're going back from the end. Oh, path end, path to dust. PU destination matches our current path dust. No move truncation. I probably just need to log this stuff and see which of these cases is applying. <clears throat> but it seems like it would have to, well, path end. Oh, look at that, we even had a, I could have actually just done path end, maybe. Because what we really care about is does the, is the, the actual path at path length <clears throat> after adjustment. From the last step of our path, greater than or equal to zero. If the path matches, 
the updated destination position, <clears throat> our path length is going to be path plus 1. We started at minus 1, so if that was it, it'd be fine. If it was 0, that would give us a two-length path. If we're not on 0, our current step is the one prior, which I guess means the point you're at and then moving to the next step. So this doesn't consider if current path step is past that point. So you could jump back essentially. And then as long as we found the path, we set our dest, <clears throat> but Hmm. So this would have occurred in this. So we know that, well, we think that this is causing us to reach destination out of sync. Uh, and then we have not yet played the messages, so the message itself isn't going to cause it any problem. So we got the message while moving. I probably need to just record if we're truncating. Got the message while moving. <laughs> AKA while on a path. We truncated at somewhere along the path without regard to our current position. So we're saying if this step, oh, this step is P. So this step is now our destination. <clears throat> this step is P. So it normally puts us back one. But if it's zero, it puts us there. Oh, if this, if we got an update, for path, for path point zero, we will continue moving one more step. But that would make Point plus one. Wait. If P is our destination, go to P plus one.
that seems wrong. No, because that's length. So if it's at zero, that's going to say our length is one. Wait. If it's index zero, say our path length is one. But don't paths have to be at least two? We just, I need, I need coordinates. Well, we might have some coordinates. <clears throat> so, well, this is two message. Let's find a simple one message. It, 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 it wrong way. Holding player update. So they were moving uh, one space from 23750. We got a player update at 237 negative 50. They were, they were moving over one, and then we got a player update not done moving but at 237 negative 50 which would have done a zero point truncation reached destination in error so actually I think one length paths aren't supposed to exist Oh, and then we get another player update that puts them back there. So we may not have seen it for very long. But the other one was also path at 2-2 and then an update at 2-2. So, uh, how does path length 1 work? Because I know that there's places that say, oh, well, it has to be at least two. Unfortunately, it's one of those big, nasty functions. Uh, no, maybe map pull mode. I think I missed it. Yeah, I missed it by a lot. Uh, end pause, end pause, end pause. Okay, here's our initial end pause. <clears throat> Path to dust. Good pause, current path step, current path step plus one. Current path step is zero. And the length is one in that case. Well, the data, st oh, the data structures, that would say length one, but we're going to go current pass step to current pass step plus one. If it's not zero, we go back one, so we move towards that point. Less than current speed. 
Yeah, path length minus two. That kind of tells us path length shouldn't be one. So, well, we can do more instrumentation, and I could replay that game again to get more logging on it. <clears throat> But then it makes sense that we reach destination early. Distance from end pause to current position. Well, end pause is going to be path plus one, regardless of the length. But we. If it's equal to the start of the path, we're going to truncate it there. And that might actually... Oh, it's good. Um... So it will still walk to the next point in the truncated path. Uh, just start, there'll be current position, current position plus one. It will still walk out there. It will get there. It will stop. Uh, the player update will not issue a move back, which could be one thing. Say, oh, well, if we're stopped and we're not on our position, we should, we should issue a fix-up move. So you could consider the current path position so that you didn't go back before where we're, well, I guess it could, you could be at that current path position, moving forward to the next spot. It would truncate you there. Yeah, if you're in motion, I'm not sure you can actually truncate it zero. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at some more of these. Uh, no, actually, what we want is uh, showing mismatch. One message. Holding. Player message will tell later. <clears throat> uh, your previous player update, your previous move was 22849. We got 228 negative 49. Yes, they moved and then did something that gave them an update at their current location. <clears throat> so then we reach destination out of sync. <clears throat> and the player update does not reset current pause usually. Well, this will set speed to zero. So that could probably be... I guess in the player update, we could detect that we had done that. That we had come to rest <clears throat> at the wrong position. That speed equals zero, current pause not equal to dust pause. Or, If we truncate the path, how does uh, 
Well, distance and pause is going is going to be there. We're going to set current. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like the easiest way to fix this would be to update the path object for p equals zero so that the destination is also that point. <clears throat> or we have to have a special case in here to handle length equals one. Old path length, path length two, cut off. Path length zero, object path length, new path dot size, Distinct path to dust, new grid pause, old pause, plus vector away, plus vector away, equals old pause. What is this? Trimmed path too short, needs to have at least a start and end pause, give it an artificial start pause. Lead appended path, oh, this is, check if, New start, oh, this is an ugly bit of code, but it would seem like if path length equals one, existing path to dust zero, current move direction, that would be the full on proper way to do it. Oh, and the point towards next path position happens, no, that's Oh, because this is where it's a player move, so we're starting it there. And then this is in player update. And um, there's probably a better place to do this. When we do path length equals p plus one. <clears throat> so if we found it, uh, truncate our path there. Equals path end, no move truncation. And probably do it outside the loop. Okay, so that's the update. That's the loop. I kind of don't want a function for this, but Jason doesn't seem to like functions much. Existing path length, next world, existing current pause, normalize current pause, next world,
And then, <clears throat> yeah, because I never saw this, so I never put this in my my stuff. Uh, uh, fix up for. Uh, over truncated path. Uh, existing ID. Yeah, so that's always going to be true if it does the trunk. And that's basically just the kind of... If not equal, current pause next world. If they are equal, then well, I guess it was, it was fractional. Yeah. As long as it's not exactly equal. Current pause, next world. It's vector away. Old pause is there. Well, it's a sub, so maybe they'll, they'll work out right. Existing path length. Oh, just outright makes a new one. Now, unfortunately, uh, testing this is going to take quite a while. And it's getting to be lunchtime for me. So what I'll probably do is call that for the moment, and call the stream for the moment, and try replaying that last uh, saved game in replay mode. <clears throat> uh, and then see what we print out. Or see whether this happens and whether I spot any of the any of the actual display the error situations. Um, I don't know if that would even hit reach destination early. Oh well, it might because this hasn't affected ETA at all. <clears throat> uh, maybe that happens further down in the player move update. But, uh, yeah, that is all we have time for today. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, turn that off for next time. Thanks for all the people who hosted. I'll see if I can get any recommendations here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and Muffin Drake. I think I may have missed that. Uh, I'm usually on uh, coding in the mornings, uh, other stuff in the afternoons. Tip currently Saturday is the one, one life day. Do we have any other coding going on here? Not a lot. Or it's the bigger people who are a little bit floor, floor, uh, 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 lower down on my list. There we go. Uh, Roland's is doing a uh, web application, uh, which is something I do on occasion. Uh, so if you're looking for someplace cool to hang out, that's someplace cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye, and until next time.
Hi, Lost Scholar. <laughs> How you doing? I think I might have found the bug. Well, I, I think I found the bug last time, but I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, run a replay to check. Anyway, I'm just about to go, but thanks for stopping by.